In the part 1 video of Miller indices, we learned that Miller indices used to specify the direction of a lattice point. The square bracket denotes the Miller indices of a particular direction, the same angle bracket as the family of the direction. In addition, we also learned that the number of indices in Miller indices depends on the dimension of a lattice. In this video, we will learn that Miller indices is used to specify the plane of a lattice. Also, for the hexagonal lattice, we will also define the Miller Bravais indices. In order to understand the Miller indices of a plane in 3D, we consider a straight line in two dimensions, which intercept the axis at A and B. The equation of a straight line will be x upon A plus y upon B equals to 1. Similarly, if a plane in three dimensions intercept the axis at A, B and C, the equation of the plane will be x upon a plus y upon b plus z upon c equals to 1. But the point is that it is not absolutely necessary that these intercept points be integer. These can be fraction, infinite or even less than 1. To overcome this problem, we take the reciprocal of these intercept points which are denoted by h, k and l. This is called the Miller indices of this plane. To write the Miller indices of a plane, we have to follow some steps. For example, the given plane cuts the axis at NA, MB and LC, where A, B and C are the lattice parameters. Step 1. Note the intercept points of the given plane in term of lattice parameter. In step 2, divide these intercept points with their corresponding lattice parameters. In step 3, takes the reciprocal of the remaining numerical values. In step 4, after taking reciprocal, if the numerical values are in fraction, then multiply by smallest common factor, so that all three values are converted into integer. After doing this, we will get three integers, which are called Miller indices of the given plane. These indices are written in round bracket. As an example to understand practically, let's take an orthorhombic lattice with the lattice parameter A, B and C. Now let us calculate the Miller indices of the given plane. This plane cuts the x-axis at A but parallel to the y and z axis, meaning it will cut both these y and z axis at infinite. So the intercept points of this plane are 1A, infinite B and infinite C. Now dividing these three intercept points with the lattice parameter gives us three numerical values. Taking the reciprocal of these three values, these values are integer so that there is no need to multiply them with a common factor. Hence, Miller indices of this plane is 1, 0, 0. If we pay attention to the plane and its Miller indices, we find that the axis of which the plane is parallel, the corresponding Miller indices of that axis is 0. In this way, if we talk about plane 2, this plane cuts y axis at b while parallel to the x and z axis. Hence, its Miller indices will be 0, 1, 0. Similarly, plane 3 is parallel to the x and y axis while cuts the z axis at c. So, its Miller indices will be 0, 0, If we 1. pay attention to the cubic crystal, these three planes exist at equal distance from their consecutive parallel planes, which we can check with the interplanar spacing formula. Since all three planes are at equal distance, they will be called members of a family and the Miller indices of this family denotes in a curly bracket. The interplanar spacing of all the members present in a family is equal only when it is called a member of that family. We saw that plane 1 has a Miller indices 1, 0, 0. If it's parallel, we take another plane which cuts the x-axis at 2, there is a 1 by 2 a fraction in the reciprocal of these intercept points. To remove it, we multiply all three values by 2. By doing this, we get Miller indices 1, 0, 0 of this plane. Hence, the Miller indices of all parallel planes are same. In the next example, the given plane is on the body diagonal of the lattice which cuts the x-axis at A and y-axis at B while z-axis is parallel. Hence, Miller indices of this plane will be 1, 1, 0. In fourth example, we have considered a plane which cuts x-axis at A 
z axis at c and y axis at minus b when we write miller indices for this plane we get values of h k l 1 minus 1 and 1 as we learned in the last video in the miller indices notation the negative number is written by bar therefore the miller indices of this plane will be 1 1 bar 1 pay attention if any plane passing through the origin how would write the miller indices of this plane it is to be kept in mind that if a plane is passing through the origin we have to consider another plane parallel to this as we said in starting all parallel planes have the same miller indices hence miller indices of these two will also be the same now let's calculate the miller indices of this new plane it will also be called the miller indices of the plane passing through the origin now let's talk about how the plane of a hexagonal lattice is specified four crystallographic axes a1 a2 a3 and c are needed to define the hexagonal lattice this is the reason that to specify its plane not three but four indices are required these four indices are called miller bravais indices a hexagonal lattice is made up of two hexagonal planes this plane is called bessel plane it is clear from the geometry that the three axes a1 a2 and a3 are at 120 degree about c axis in miller bravais indices h is related to a1 axis k is related to a2 axis i is related to a3 axis and l is related to c axis hence there will be geometrical relation between h k and i the relationship is i equals to minus h plus k or h plus k plus i equals to zero this is one of the four indices we can calculate mathematically as well to understand miller bravais indices we have some examples in the first example we calculate the miller bravais indices of the bessel plane since this plane is passing through the origin it's parallel take a, another plane which cuts the c axis at one and the remaining three axes are parallel on getting it solved, we get miller bravais indices 0001. In the second example, we have taken a plane whose orientation can be understood easily from the Bessel plane. This plane cuts the A1 axis at 1 and A3 axis at minus 1, while A2 and C are parallel. Hence, miller bravais indices of this plane will be 101 bar 0. We can also check it mathematically index i is equal to the negative sum of h and k next example this plane cuts a1 and a3 axis at 1 while a2 axis cuts at minus 1 by 2 and c axis is parallel hence the miller bravais indices of this plane will be 1 2 1 bar 0 the miller indices and miller bravais indices of the hexagonal lattice can be converted to each other with the help of mathematical formula since the index i is not independent it is sometime written with a dot. So in this video, we learn how to write Miller indices of a plane and direction. Also, we learned that different brackets used for a different purpose. I hope you like this video.